Hello, Joe from Exhibition News. Here's what you may have missed on EN recently. Industry stalwart Nick Marshall has retired after almost 40 years working in the exhibitions industry. Marshall began his career as finance manager for Melville Exhibition Services in 1985. He held senior industry positions, including managing director at Melville, plus CEO and executive chairman at GES. During his retirement lunch, TF Connect's Trevor Foley said, Nick has been at the forefront of our industry for decades. He's a leader, an ever-present and a true gentleman. We all owe him a great deal. Raccoon Media's Group CEO Mike Seaman conquered the South Downs Way Centurion Ultra Marathon in 25 hours and 21 minutes. The 100 mile course, which defeated him at mile 48 in 2021, has over 4,000 metres of incline and some gruelling terrain. Seaman's second successful attempt has so far raised £1,500 for the Birmingham Children's Hospital Charity. UFI, the Global Association of the Exhibitions Industry, has elected Panita Bury, Vice Chairperson of Biraj Bury Group as president for the 2025-26 period. Biri will join the UFI presidential trio as incoming president in November and will start her role at the 92nd UFI Global Congress in November next year in Hong Kong. Finally, Alison Willis has been promoted to CEO of EasyFares UK and Global. She replaces Matt Benyon, who will now focus on his EasyFares group role, working alongside fellow group CEO Anne LaFair. That's all for this week. Stay tuned for more updates next time.